Hi, and welcome to Eso Alimentas cooking video. As always, my name is Bea and I'm your host. Today I have a special guest, my daughter, Anaya. Uh, she will be helping me today. Today's episode, I've dedicated to collard greens. Uh, so, uh, before me, I have a sample of what we've already cut. We'll have Anaya demonstrate it today, how to cut the greens um, fairly quickly. In front of me, we have um, a few leaves um, that we've already washed. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone understands when you wash your greens, you, you want to get rid of any of the sand or any of the soil that's probably left behind. Um, so, as you can see, these are fairly large. Um, and we're actually going to let Anaya now demonstrate the way in which we cut our greens. <laughs> nice little camera shot. <laughs> Way to cut it. You cut it actually on the opposite side, right? Yes. With the stem on the outside, right? And fold it. Okay. So in case you guys didn't know, um, collard greens are a member of the cruciferous vegetable family, uh, which means they're high in nutrients, low in calories. They help to reduce uh, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. One cup of those boiled is equivalent to seven times the recommended serving uh, of vitamin K. And if you didn't know, vitamin K helps to improve calcium absorption, which is amazing. There we go. So, um, you can put those in here. What we'll do now is that we'll put these in the fridge overnight just the way they are. And then tomorrow morning, uh, when we're up and ready at about four, <laughs> cheese. Anyway, so um, we will get started on cooking these. Um, it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to cook. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Hi, and welcome to Es Alimenta again. Uh, so, our ingredients, pretty simple, about seven of them, including the beautiful, luscious collard greens. I have about um, eight bunches here that we did last night. Um, and I have a huge stock pot, um, and I do apologize for the way it looks. It's my old school stock pot, and there's many stains on here I just can't get out. So we are gonna get started with my pot. It's on about medium. And we are going to add a quarter cup of avocado oil. The next thing that we're gonna put in is the onions. We have about half an onion here. It's medium sized onion. So you want your fire on about medium to get it going. Next is minced garlic. Uh, I have about 10 medium-sized garlic cloves. Cloves? Yes. <laughs> you can throw those in. You want it to start to sweat. Let that garlic start to release its flavors. So that's going to be our base for our greens. I have two teaspoons of red chili flakes, so I'll just put those in there. We're gonna add salt, but it'll really be to taste. Um, it's up to you how much you wanna put in, um, so I won't measure that one out. Awesome, onions are sweating. It's hot in here. Cool, so now we can throw in our broth. <laughs> yeah, so I have two quarts here of vegetable broth and we want to put those in. Mmm. And let that cook and get hot before you start to put in your greens. So we'll just give this a few minutes and we'll come back. I went ahead and covered the pot just to give it a chance to warm up and get hot to the level that I like it to be. 
So we'll just open it up. It's cooking, it's nice, it's not boiling. Um, so now we can start putting them in and we'll put them in batches. So we'll put our first batch in. And they start wilting away. They're wilting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Great. I don't know. This is just something that I'm used to doing um, ever since I learned to make greens. It was always, you don't just throw them in the pot. You put them in, um, in batches and you allow it to s almost like settle into the pot. I haven't put any salt in again. Um, I'm tempted to put some in right now, but I'll hold off. You can put between between one and three teaspoons. It depends on how salty you want it. I'm probably going to add more. Uh, I'm on the more of a three teaspoons, but you should always start one teaspoon at a time. So put one in, stir it. If it doesn't work for you, actually give it like a couple minutes. Taste it again. If you don't like it, add another teaspoon. And then just keep doing that until you reach that level that you're happy with. And it is simmering. You start to see the color changing on the leaves already. The greens really shouldn't cook that long. Um, I want to say maybe between 10 and 20 minutes once you get them all settled into the pot. You don't have that stem in it. There's no need for you to overcook it and kill the nutrients. I'm gonna add salt to it. I haven't tasted it, but I already know how much salt I like in my greens. We're gonna cover this, let it cook about medium fire for about 20 minutes, and then we'll come back. So instead of giving it 20 minutes, I thought I'd check on it a little earlier, 15 minutes. So we're gonna open the pot now. Ooh, it's a lot going on. Greens are still green and a really pretty green. At this point, you can test for saltiness. If you want to add more um, hot pepper flakes, you can. If you don't, that's fine. If you want to add black pepper, you can do that as well. If it doesn't have enough garlic for you, you can add it at this point. Um, you want to turn this down to a simmer because your greens are ready and you're ready to eat. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, if you liked our video, I hope you can just like it on YouTube. Um, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.